Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy here. I'm actually here today to talk to you a little bit about my why. Um, I always believe that a why has to be one thing and that one thing that drives you all the way to the top. And I am learning in my personal experience, I can't speak for everyone else, but in my personal experience and opinion, there's not one why for me. Um, there's multiple whys that drive me every single day. Um, my family, my childhood, uh, the followers and supporters that I have, um, the people that I inspire every day, uh, the, the people that take my challenge, the people that has already transformed their lives because of me, uh, the people that, that, that take the time to reach out to me, to speak to me, and to listen to my message that God is relaying to them through me. Uh, because all my messages are not me per se. It's God speaks through me and I just, I say whatever he wants me to say. Um, and for some reason, I felt that now as I'm getting older and I'm acknowledging who I am and who I'm coming, my, I'm putting myself into, I'm molding myself into a person that, that, that can make a difference in the world. And a lot of it, comes down to what I went through to get to where I am. Um, as a kid, I was very, I was very outgoing. I was very destructive. Um, I was one of those kids that touched everything and was very playful, very happy kid. Um, grew up in a very, um, it was a middle class neighborhood. Um, I've always been middle class. I'm still middle class right now. Um, but the area never aspired to be bigger than what you were at that area. It's always get to get, get a nine to five and you know, you're surviving this world and that's the, the, the way to live. And, and then, you know, going to school, I failed many times. I failed in, I was in summer school between five to sixth grade, or five, six, seven and eighth and ninth grade. I got kicked out of a Catholic school for failing religion. Uh, I went to a, a Pentecostal school in my sophomore year. Uh, then I went to back to a public school junior and senior year. So in that whole time, now as I'm getting older and I'm, I'm, I'm coming into my own, I'm acknowledging a lot of things that that has led me to where I'm at today. Um, I've been, I've been uh, put in situations that are very different environments. Uh, a lot of workplaces that I've been to work with uh, had a lot of different personalities, a lot of different ways of, of going about things. So I was never, it wasn't that I was always stuck to the same way of thinking. Um, I, I grew up as a baseball player. I grew up as a bowler. Uh, I was bowled in leagues. I always played baseball in leagues. And I was always, you know, I was a good athlete um, that always wanted to be the best at what he did. Um uh, but that was the only field that I strived in, uh, which is sports. But I never managed to take my sports into my business world or to my my work world. Um, but now I'm I'm realizing that I have to marry the drive of my sports world to get me to where I'm at today because that's what's getting me. That's what's getting me amped up every day. That's what's getting me fired up. That's what's waking me up every day. And it's it's something that I love, love, love to have. Um, when I yell, when I, when I inspire, when I motivate, however you want to define me, it's who I am. Um, some people may say I'm crazy. Some people may say I'm different. Uh, personally, I'm different. I'm not perfect. Pers I will never say I'm perfect. Um, I do a lot of things because I believe in them. Um, some people may not. Your views may be different from other people's views, but my why is to help those that are that have been misunderstood in their life, that don't know how to pursue, that don't know how to pursue the things that make them happy, because the people around them aren't happy, so they're trying to put you in the same level as them. So every time I try to do something different, someone tells me that's not the way you do it. Uh, you should have done it this way, but their way isn't your way. You know, like when I talk to people, I want them to find themselves. 
I'm only a guide. I'm only the guide. That's the way I drive myself. I'm only a guide and I just want the best for the person. But the person has to want it more than me. You know, I can't want it more than you because you will never get to wherever you want to be. So my why is changing. Your why is going to change every day. Never think that your why is going to stay the same. Because when I started my journey, my why was to lose to, to, to lose those inches from 40. I was a 42. I was a 40 and I was getting ready to go to a 42. I wasn't having that. I may have looked confident with clothes on, but I was very lacking confidence when I took them off. I always had to have a shirt on. And I still, sometimes I still have that, that thing in my head that tells me, leave your shirt on because uh, people are going to talk about you. Even when I have a body and when I didn't have a body, I still have the same mindset, but I'm more confident and I, and I want to inspire someone to be more confident in themselves because I find myself to be more confident each and every day I improve. Personal development has definitely done that for me and it can do it for you. What is it that you want out of life? Why, why do you do what you do every day? Why do you get up? Why does that even matter to you? I have two nephews that I want to fight for. I got two nephews that are being raised by my parents right now that my parents aren't perfect and that's okay. But you know what? If I can do whatever I can so that they can be the best persons, best people that they can be, I want to do my best at it. Because those kids, they look up to me. I know they do. Every time I go there, the smiles in their faces, the love in their hearts, it's priceless to me. And I want to fight for them. But I'm not only fighting for them, I'm fighting, I'm fighting for the future of their generation. Because the future of their generation is what's going to make our future either a better place or a place that you don't want to live in. But it's our job in developing ourselves today so that they can have a better future, so that their future could be better than our past. And we all know what we're talking about, especially if you were born in the 80s and 90s. What can we do different? That should be your why. Your why is always going to change. It's never going to be the same. Fight for you. Fight for what you believe in. Don't give up on yourself. Never quit. I don't want to quit. I have never wanted to quit. But I just never had the drive to continue going forward because I always felt that people never got it. But now, it's not my job for people to get it. My why changed. My why is to do what I can do. My why is to do what I am good at. And that's motivating people, inspiring people, instilling faith in people, and growing the next generation to become the best version of themselves that they can be. My why can change tomorrow. And that's okay. Accept it. I failed in my past, but I promise you that I will do my best to every time I fail in my present, that I learn from it and become better at it. You need to become better at it. If you want something so bad, why are you going to quit? You don't believe in yourself? You lack belief? Are you going to let life throw you curveballs every time? And you continue to miss them or fall in the trap of what they're giving you. Every in life, there's holes. There's like manholes all over the place in life. How many of them are you gonna fall into? Why don't you just jump over them? Overcome them. Is it gonna be easy? Heck no. But can you do it? Absolutely. But you gotta fight for it. You're wise on the other side of that manhole. If you keep falling into the manhole, you're never going to make it to the other side. And you're never going to see what your fullest potential is. So I recommend you to step out of your comfort zone, jump over that manhole, and don't fall in again. 
And if you do, there's always a ladder. There's always steps to bring you back up. But it's up to you if you want to get stuck there or you want to get out of it. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. You can do it. I have faith in you. But embrace your failures. Don't dwell on them. Because if you dwell on them, the manhole just closed on you. And you're never going to get out. You're going to stay there. You don't want to stay there. You want to get out and you want to see the light of day every day. It's like they say, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Never stop driving towards it. You may hit a lot of detours, but there's always going to be a light at the end. Never stop turning. I hope you find your why. I hope you write them down. Look at your past. Learn from your past. Don't dwell on it. Learn from it. But most importantly, forgive it. You're a different person now. And you deserve better. And you deserve more. I know I do. And just thinking about those failures in school, I forget about those things. I wasn't the brightest student. I wasn't the smartest kid. I was a couch potato that played video games all day and watched movies all day. I didn't know anything about life. What did I know? I just knew movies. My life was through movies. But I think it's time for me to make my own movie. And that's what I'm doing. I'm creating my life. My life is a movie that I want everyone to watch. Start creating your life. You're not perfect. You're different. You're unique. Your story, your story matters. And someone is ready to buy it. But it's not until you write it that people are going to buy it. They're not going to buy something that doesn't exist. So if you think that your past isn't important, think again and look back at it. And then tell me if your life really has significance or not. Because you are significant. You matter. Believe that. I believe in you. Believe in yourself enough to know that your story is going to change one person's life. If you go into that book and you write knowing that one person will be inspired by it, you've done your job. Don't give up. Never give up. Don't quit. Never quit. Because you will fail. But I promise you that if you learn, you will succeed. God bless you all. And always remember to have faith, not fear. Whoop, whoop.